Growing up, I was into street shit. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be one and it's lit. Welcome back to another episode of Lit Podcast. Like I say, you know how we do it. We're gonna bring you the hottest artists in the city, the hottest artists out of the city. You know what I'm saying? That's just how we tap in. Today we got another special guest in the hot seat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and once again, they smoking with me. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Light up y'all weeds up there, man. Light that shit up, light that shit up, man. You roll that shit up, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't rolled it up What's today. You know what I'm saying? We got Say you're in the motherfucking building, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> God damn me, everybody give me a round of applause in this bitch. Yes, goddamn me, I'm getting myself on. You know what I'm saying? Give yourself a round of applause around this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? For, 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 for people out here making accomplishments, you know what I'm saying? People out here staying, you know what I'm saying, true to their craft, you know what I'm saying? And really staying focused, you know what I'm saying? This is what this podcast is about, you know what I'm saying? It's about the artists, it's about the craft, it's about the journey, you know what I'm saying? It's about the stories that in the in and the uh, success points that got them to where they at today, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, for the people out there that don't know who you is, man, please tell people who you are and where you from. Man, like the man said, I am Sire. I fuck with the city, strong Texas representative, but I'm from Louisiana, you know what I'm talking about? I've been out here for about six years, you know what I'm saying, representing Street Park. All the way down to Homer Town in the little country. So, if y'all don't know nobody. Oh, Homer. Oh, that's country, country. country. Yeah, country. We go all the way back there. So, yeah, I'm going to get them they fly Yeah, yeah, too, yeah. You know already. Shout out to Homer. You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? Shout out to them do larges in Homer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> for real. We live in not just for real. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, represent a hustle music for shit show. You know what I'm saying? Just recently distributed, signed to AE. Uh, we are still starstruck slash hustle music. Uh, but everything independent. You know what I'm saying? Then we're gonna get another round of applause for the AE, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Distribution deals up in here, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about, you know, AE got a nice roster. Yeah, 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 they got a nice roster. We went and looked at, you know what I'm saying? What the what money money uh uh money move, move. Yeah, you know, on that move. motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? I say that's my nice. nigga, shout out to money move. Oh yeah, yeah, shout out man. I see you, I see you hey, out there. Man. I see I see you getting your you know what I'm saying, your photos, poses on. <laughs> I see y'all in the mix, man. Let's talk about, about that journey, man. Let's talk about how long you been doing music. Man, it's been a journey for shit show. Nigga started young, hella young. Uh coming out of college, you know what I'm saying, just been a teenager. That shit was, wasn't even something I wanted to do. I just, I used to see my cousins, niggas. They was big dope boys, and they used to really have the rapper shit. They had all the jewelry, the car, the hoes, the clothes, switches on car, all type of shit like that. But anyway, just seeing that, I just wanted to have something. Right. Started doing music, because a nigga saw that in me, like, because right. I portrayed them. Right, right, right. So right. everything I was doing off top, I had my cars fixed up at 16, 17. Right. We riding rims and paint, so. Nigga came to me with an idea, man, you should be in, in this or in a TV show, woo woo, you know, make a long story short, I had a little TV show and I was running a nigga label at the same time. But I'm young. He was like, well, you going to college, whatever, whatever. I'm like 18 years old, you know. So within that time frame, I learned how to do all the shit I'm doing because I had artists. And okay, then okay. It went from that to where I started rapping. And from there, I already had the image. And, Okay, okay. What was the influence though? Who who influenced you in rapping, you know what I'm saying? Besides like like people I wanna know like local people in your hometown that influence you and like bigger artists that influence you and say oh, like Yeah, I for shit show. Uh a lot of my influence came from Jeezy up top. Jeezy and T I and Jay Z. Them niggas had me on some shit. You know, and and back then like you had Tupac before he died and shit like that. So it was niggas like that who kind of put me in a right. mind frame of like, if I'm a, if I'm a rapper, I'm a spit. Right, right. Like I'm gonna be by me, and this is what it is. Right. And a lot of people find that intimidating, and it causes certain issues with you doing your, what you do, but right. fuck it. Right. I, I'm, I, I stay out the way, you feel me? But at the end of the day, my, my influence came from that, and then from the hometown, it wasn't really nobody from where we from that had really blew up, but. One time, I ain't gonna lie, Tusi Boy and them, they had the lot tech record shit back in the day. Okay, Tusi you know, Boy. Man, they, they, him and Trav and them, they had that shit going. Them niggas had made me see some shit that we thought they had not made it. Right. Being young like that, we lit. You know what I'm saying? Seeing them niggas do their thing back and forth in Texas, we thinking that's big. Right. But 
that was a motivational thing. But like I said, it never did make me want to do it. But when I started doing it, I thought about it. Right. Niggas like that. And then nigga from Shreveport, you know what I mean? You had uh, Big Papa, you know what I'm saying? And Baby and, you know, Jab and them doing their thing with the whole Amwood movement. My nigga Hurricane Chris, shout out to Hurricane. Shout I watched his whole blow up because he yeah. was on my TV show once. What's this TV show you talk about? Uh, man, quick talk about it. It was called Street Fight. Okay, you know okay. Saying? Long story short, you know, it was a little mixture of hits in the street and okay. a little hood 106 apart. So we'll, I go around fucking with people and clowning and shit, you know, in the streets like hits used to do. Okay, you know what I'm saying? all right, and yeah. Then, uh, we'll catch artists like this and we had have little interviews with them and then we'll show their videos. Okay, so you was already on this. You was already, was doing yeah, it's shit. already embedded. Yeah. So what did you want to? Do? What did you always want to be besides me rich. doing music? Rich. I didn't give a fuck what it was. Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie. basketball. Though. Basketball. I played ball. I played oh, you play ball. What, what position? Two guard. Okay. All right. All right. So you got the ball a lot. Okay. I'm gonna light your ass up. Uh, okay. Straight <laughs> 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 right. up. My boy played some ball there yeah, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they played there. Come on, play. Yeah, my boy played that ball. See right down the street. Yeah, you know why so I'm my shoes and yeah. the jaw neat. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Shit. Well, okay well, are we talking about the Hoover? <laughs> what you think about, okay, I, this off subject, but the Cowboys. What you think, how, how they doing right now? You know what I'm saying? Cause you, have you been seeing the memes? I'm going to lose another dog. Well, I already know you is, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm not a hater, you know, so as far as the Cowboys, Alright, alright. Nah, we was in there when y'all got yours, though. When y'all got y'all, we was like, woo, 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 woo. Hey, look, I, you know what? I, I, let me be real about it. I'm, I don't have a vendetta right. towards the Cowboys. It's all just right. a robbery itself. But I don't really give a fuck about it because it is what it is. I used to like Deion Sanders and, mm -hmm. and Emmitt Smith and niggas back prime in the day, time. prime time and all mm -hmm. that. So, uh, looking at it now, like, uh, even Dak. Like people don't even know. This first time I'm telling this story on camera. Little Dak um, came sat in my studio, and when he was in high school, I had no idea that was him. It took my boy C Mac to remind me what had happened that night. C Mac was on the radio station in Louisiana. He was on 99.7. He moved out here and started doing a studio in North Dallas. I don't remember the name of it. Uh, but anyway, when I moved out here. He told me, he said, hey man, you remember that night? Uh, my boys wanted to meet you. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's right when I had first started rapping, right. I had my little studio and shit. And his sons wanted to meet me. And I just like, got finished with college and shit. His sons was in high school, so we went, you know, not too far from each other. But uh, it was his two sons. And that, you know what I'm saying? They, they played sports it. in school together. Yeah, Girl, had no idea. He was like, "This my little partner. This my kid, my boys. You know, right. homeboy. He played football. You know what I mean? He like, but he stayed to himself. They be kind of trying to, you know, kind right. of fuck with him on some slick shit. You know, he like just talk to him, keep his mind straight, cause he can really do something. That and I was cool. like, ah, that ain't nothing. You know what I mean? I got you. And we had our little little talk. I talked to him about, yeah. you know, how I feel like, you know, you should look at things and move how you move, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, uh that was that, you know what I mean? And he was cool, little cool little dude. And then I came out here and C Mac said, Man, you you see the Cowboys game lately? I was like, Yeah, I see they got a new quarterback, woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. from the area. I said, That's yeah. what's up. He like, That's all you know about the little quarterback from the area? I was like, Yeah, I like he from the po, he from the city. He like, you don't remember Lil Dak came in your house that night, you had a little talk with him? I said, what you mean, Lil Dak? Dak, Dak Prisco? I said, you lying. Yes, nigga. Like, I was crazy. like, oh, no. I don't even know, you I know what I'm no saying? That'd be, That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. Like me, like that. He said, yeah, he said, that Dak Prisco. I was like, what the fuck? He like, yeah, he big Dak now. <laughs> I said, I said, I don't know yeah. what the fuck. He, be like, but, he, he, he doing good for us, man. Yeah, that was so, a good. That was a good uh, pick for the Cowboys. Mm -hmm. I think that was the right fit too. Y'all just got saying? exclusive. I ain't yeah. never told nobody. Nah, that, that is family. exclusive. We got the exclusive tonight. Y'all heard that shit? That shit fire yeah. that shit up. You know what I'm saying? Put the motherfucking fire signs down there. <coughs> Lit, nigga. Shit. I ain't even shit. That shit crazy. But I don't never run around and try to use it, try to chase it. Say you remember me? Like he probably don't even remember that shit. Man, shit ain't no telling. You but know. He, like you say, he might. You feel me? Yeah, that was that. 
Mex said, now, hey, matter of fact, that was my boy C Mex said he like, man. I said, man, he probably don't even remember that shit now. He like, shit, you never know. He said, you probably one of the niggas that helped him. Right. Man, he probably just don't remember how to fit you in until it comes out and you be right. like, oh yeah, you was, was the nigga that right. said. All they gotta do is light them yeah, shit. Yeah, like, light go out. Bing! Yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah, for real. Because yeah, I used to go by <coughs> King B. Weezy back then. You know? King what? King B. Weezy. King, King B. Big Weezy. Man, let me ask you this. I Because I always wanted to know. What's up with the Weezy type thing went from the Louisiana? You know what I'm saying? What, what, what? I was following the trend. I, matter of fact, I ain't gonna even lie to myself. I ain't follow shit. It was a thing for the Louisiana because the Wayne was doing it, and what made it cool was I think Snoop was talking like the for shizzle my nizzle and oh, dizzle okay. and so all that shit. Like it was just a play. It was a play off the board. Right, right, right. So when Wayne started doing his little Weezy thing, right. kind of like the thing that kind of it wasn't broad yet, but it was a way of niggas was talking. Right. Like, we would right. talk like that. You know right. what I'm saying? Man, keep it easy, breezy, like uh oh, shit sleazy, like uh, you know what I mean, whatever. Like we'll drag words or right. whatever. But uh I'm at work freestyling in the kitchen and shit with my partner and when I'm in college and shit and you know, my you know, they would call me B dub or whatever and it just came from the Right, the dub, the wheezy, and then the wheezy, yeah, and slid the, yeah. into the wheezy, and they gave that to me. Yeah, you know, like you too cool to be B Web, you gotta be B Weezy, nigga. Man, and well, then how much shit started. But that's how everybody shit get their names <laughs> and shit. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? This shit, yeah, that, that, that's how it go. So it was. So what is like growing up, man, in Louisiana, then making that transition coming out here to Dallas and to pursue a music career. Shit. And what was the reason for the transition, man? Okay, which one you want me to answer? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> hit him in a boat load. Ah, which one, no bitch? When I was younger, we used to go down to Louisiana. You know, it, 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 it was thuggy, but it was, it was crunk too at the same time. It was more of a more, a lot of people, you can get a lot of motherfuckers together. All right, I'm going to say this. Boy is the most part of it. I love I I love Shreveport for what it was when 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 I was there. It was shit was cool as fuck, man. Like at a at a point in time, like you could have so much fun, especially being somebody. If you had some type of status or name with yourself in Shreveport, then you can basically live like a celebrity. Right. So that portion of it was cool as fuck. Being an I was. Uh, underground the mastermind, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. I fucked with all the big dogs on a personal level. Right. And I never publicized it for fame. Right. Which made me so, so, in my way I feel powerful in the sense to where I was respected. Right. Because nobody never wished no bad on me because I don't wish no bad on nobody. Right. And I stay out of the way. They respect the aura. Yeah, and I know everybody. Right. So when right. I step in the room, if you on some other shit and you with the big man, the big man gonna be like, nah, I watch y'all to do. Right. That's my nigga. Right, right, right. And that's done happen so many times, and it's funny to see how niggas switch their tone and start dick riding me when they was just hating on me. Right. But that's funny. A whole nother story. But that transition of life was just different because I was in that moment mm -hmm. and you can never get that back. Right. No matter where you go and what you do after that, that moment was set up for how it came. Right. And that was organic. So when you move somewhere else, it may be similar, but it'll never be the same. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So comparing moving here from there, it'll never be a comparison, even though I may like it better here now. Right. That moment then, I like that moment then right. than I do here now. Right. Mm -hmm. it was, it's like it's home, you know. Man, it yeah, was, yeah. It was, it, you feel me? So, yeah, yeah. You know, square bit. That's why it makes sense. Like, <laughs> anybody, if you like it here now, that's why I don't want to say I like it here. Right. Better right. Because I do. Right. Now. Right. Because it's too cluttered there. Too many youngsters knocking off everybody. Like, shit. Being gangster ain't gotta be murder every day. Right, right, yeah. You right, feel me? Yeah, like, yeah. I ain't with that. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? We made money work when we, that's why another reason why I move, everybody was moving, how they were moving, some nigga got sloppy. So when shit started going flop, I say, shit. Right. You got me fucked up. 
So, mm-hmm. that, that, so when that transition <laughs> you make a move. <laughs> you okay. know what I'm saying? So let's put it like this. Okay, so when you got to that transition here, you know, like what 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 was it? Was it was it here to come focus on music? Was it come here to come get come yeah, get nah, another music and have a bitch ass thing to right. do with it? I was like I said, I was doing I at that time I I, was, I had stopped doing music because I had caught a charge. Right. Like I said, the reason why I was able to do music because I had broke my ankle trying to when I was playing college ball and ended my career. So I couldn't work nowhere because my shit was fucked up for like two years. So mm. I was already trapping. So she, I really turned up when I couldn't walk. Right. She, I, I <laughs> fuck it, nigga. Right. I, I plugged in. Right. So I, I utilized that my lifestyle like it was, like G's and Ti and them. I just didn't put myself on that pedestal out there on purpose to where I wanted niggas to know I had it like that. Right, right, right. I would never do that. Right, right. You feel me? And I st- always stayed under the radar. Everybody only knew me for what I showed in music. Right. Which I love to, to this day. You would never know what I got going on. Right. I'm going to show you what I want you to see. And that's how it's supposed to be. You know I mean, what I'm that's saying? How I know. That's how, I mean, that's how you, niggas supposed to be moving. You know what I'm saying? So, like, what... At what point of time did you start to say, okay, I'm finna pick this pen back up? And where did you start tapping in out here to start taking your your music to that next level? That was the that was the that was the idea when I got here. Right. Like when I left, it was to better myself and get away from what could happen. So when I got here, I was like, all right, what I need to do is reevaluate and redo what I was doing already focus on my music again and that's when I revamped myself and Sire became because now I'm not a king no more I'm a king of kings right now I got a son right now he a little king so I named him Sire right you feel me right so that's what Sire come from and that comes from the elevation with me that's how and the growth like what we were talking about earlier the growth you know what I'm saying sometimes people don't understand when they grow you know what I'm saying and that's good that you recognize when you when you yeah. started growing. So my name was attached to the times I went to jail. Every time I went to jail, King B Weezy flyers or posters or something was in the car. Right, right. You feel me? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how you see it. God damn. Yeah, Burnt the name up around here. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. I don't know. I don't know who King who. I know that nigga, my name's yeah, nigga, I know that feeling right there, <laughs> nigga. I said, nigga, come back. They say, who low? Nah, nigga, fat man, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. For real, yeah, I, yeah. Know, I know that feeling. But for real. Yeah. So, now, I'm looking. I know I'm paying attention. Like, man, how many, man, how many, how, how, you know, your body at work. Let's talk about the body at work. You know what I'm saying? How much, how much body work you think you got in right now? Uh, I got about... I thought I would say about four solid copies, and then I got on the rappers coming. I got we got other work coming. We got about three. Oh, we got one. What y'all working on? Tell me, introduce man. Introduce your partner over there, man. man you know, sandwich bag, sandwich bag, Sam, yeah, Sam, 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 Sam over there, man. Man, <laughs> man, he over there in the cut, man. You know what I'm saying? Doing his thing. For real. So I said, well, y'all got something coming together. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, what is what's the process? Now my project is. No more Mr. Nice got to. Okay. I dropped the EP, the first EP. No, no more. The matter of fact, well, that just goes into your story or what you asked about how I got back into music. Mm-hmm. I was doing all the underground stuff, all the open mics. I was at every last one of them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, so you got the Dallas call. And see, and you feel me? <laughs> yeah. And that's what people tried to ban me, in. and they got yeah. mad at me. A lot of people got mad at me because I was making the transition. But they don't realize I was I had already did that. Right. I had went viral when I was first doing my thing. Right. And like I said, when I caught my little charge, I chilled out. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't do shit. I was just trying to make my bread because I was like, I can't do both. I'm gonna get caught up some kind of way. Right. You feel me? I can't be out here trying to do music and then try to trap and keep my money going. Right. So fuck that music. I'm finna, <laughs> I'm finna trap. Right, 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 right. right. You know what I'm saying? It's either one or other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't no dummy, bro. Like, right. Nigga, think I went to college and graduated. Right. So I, I know the equation, my nigga. I know why I weigh the variations of it. It didn't make sense to me. So let me do what makes sense to me. 
if I'm gonna take these chances, I'm gonna take these chances on straight women. Right. Cause music is a fucking gamble. That ain't no straight win at all. You feel me? Even hey. when you hot, you can uh, you bet it all the crap mm -hmm. out. <laughs> Come on, man. Y'all niggas ain't got no game if you don't know the slang. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you the name, nigga. I'm talking about boy, you, boy, you spend your whole life savings in My that. My mama, mama, bro, mm -hmm. on a gamble. But I know it's a fact that all right, if I'm gonna deal this car, I know if I at least do these two things, I'm good. Right. Versus, ah, ah, bitch. Got me fucked up. Nigga, sit right there, nigga. Be ready, be ready to pop a nigga. They, nigga, the, 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 what? They <laughs> be mad in the bitch, nigga. <laughs> so, what's y'all process in the studio? What we doing right now? <coughs> and everything. Yeah, just chilling, smoking, then feeling it. Yeah, shit, we really be already on it. Like, when we on some music, bro, we, we different. Like, we don't waste time. Wasting time. Only time we do that is after we done recorded something, we chilling, or we just literally chilling. Right. But right. if we going to the studio, we already all probably, because it's four of us, it's Trey Deuce, <clears throat> Fat Core, mm -hmm. Sound Bad Sound, and me. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> and we been. Yeah. You know what I'm and we been. I had to have my look. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, we all have a song, you know what I'm saying? Whoever go in there together, whether it's all four of us, two of us, one of us, three of us, or whatever. When we all go in there, we all got at least one or two songs that we got in mind we want to do. Okay, okay. So if it ain't written, it's written <coughs> as we go. You know okay. what I'm saying? We write it in the booth. No, most of my shit, I write it in the booth. Now, I ain't going to come out and say, oh, my. Big time freestyle, I'm a woo doo woo, woo. I don't got a cap. I ain't like the rest of these niggas. I don't need that type of fame to act like I'm the best at everything. Right, right. Bitch, I'm human. I get high. Right. I like making music. <laughs> I'm going to make some fire ass shit. You're right. going to like it when I get through with it. Right. And we're going to run that shit like that. Run the play. And I'm going to go. Already. You feel already. me? Already. And I'm going to let you do your thing. I'm, I'm one of them niggas, man. But don't get it twisted. You know what I mean? I, I don't. I don't engage in indulging bullshit, nigga. Nah, already. Shit. So, what do, how y'all feed off each other? Like, when y'all get ready to do a collaboration together? I mean, do y'all be, you know, yeah, talk things be, out sometimes? We be in sync. We yeah, be in sync, huh? We be already in the motion. I ain't gonna even lie. Like, yeah. but we actually be around each other. Okay, okay. So, when we do get to doing that shit, that's why I, I picked everybody like I did. Everybody came one by one. Everybody from different places. Already. Everybody wasn't knowing each other already. Okay. You know what I'm saying? These was handpicked partners that I peeped out that they grind with this is strong and nothing wrong with mine. You feel me? So I like, let me pull these niggas in and show them we can do this shit like this. You know what I'm saying? Join in, win by itself. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah. Like, yeah, Pimp and Coach, you know, Coop Coach and. Yeah. You know, the dude with the hair, then it's Ryder, yeah, right. then it's Steve Kerr, you know, the coach, then it's Sel, Bill Ron Jackson, Harper. Ron Harper, you feel me? Oh yeah, Ron Harper. Derrick Fish <coughs> got some rings out there, bitch, you feel me? And I met Derrick, shout out to Derrick Fish. Yeah, Fish. You know what I'm saying? Have old coal in that pocket, boy. Not for real. Never in that three, then light your ass up. Not yeah. when you, if you was on your team, but not when you wasn't on your team. <laughs> nah, for real. But, uh. But now when we, we, we mix in good, bro, like, like I said, if it's come a conversation to what we're doing or something, we're probably we're like, hey, man, you should add this word. Like, we feeling each other words and shit. It just be... Nah, that's that what's up. That's, that's what's up to work with that. Because, you know, yeah, some people yeah, some mean. people come in the studio, it'd it be hard for them, you know, to even, you know, get their shit together when, you know, as far as... Mm -mm. We be blowing mm -hmm. niggas' mind away. Yeah. We walk in that bitch, we be ready. And that's you know the thing to have, that chemistry. When, they, when you had that chemistry, oh, yeah, it's... Oh, yeah. Nah, but you know what? I will say this though. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it 100. He yeah. know it. There's one nigga that's gonna slow that bitch up because he want that bitch perfect. Bang. That nigga bang. <laughs> I say that bitch five times. Like, hold on, now nah, fuck that. Hold on, let me see. All right, all right. All that right. might be the only time. Yeah, he know what he want. He yeah, like, yeah. That nigga he, gonna make that shit. That bitch yeah, right. He know. He know he what he want. He know how he heard that shit. You know what I'm saying? He gonna yeah. run that bitch back. No, that's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> I put Jay go. 
Huh? You go run that nah, really, play. ain't nothing wrong with that shit. That's what it's there for. They wouldn't build it for no reason, shit. I rap about feeling. Right. I rap about feeling, like. Yeah, man, we're going to have to get him on the next, we're going to have to get him on the next podcast, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Chop it up, man, because I see right now y'all making a, y'all making a nice movement, man. My partner just like, man, man, you, 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 I said, I said, homie out there, movies, they man, nah, man, check them out, man, here, man, play, 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 man, shit, you know what I'm saying, I like shit, I'm like, oh, okay, he ain't fucking around, I said, oh, okay, okay, Look, so, uh, I ran I ran into him the same night I was going to get the interview for it with C-Note, a money note, okay, and uh, he came in, I, I told and uh, Parsons was, was on the camera, he came in with, fact, oh, Mike, oh, Mike was on the camera, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had just happened to walk out to the door and with Breezy, and they was coming in. Actually, you know what? I got some footage. I got that. Oh, really? I got that. Man, who you, man, who who, who have you worked with in the city, man? Who, who you done collab with in the city? Uh, and then I got another question after that once you answer that. I got a nice one. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Long look the world. You got another question. <laughs> oh, shit. You got a dick. Oh, as far as putting a body at work together, or? I'll just cut collaboration with you know what I'm saying. Uh, well, being that I'll be moving so much, I would say this generally speaking, I was supposed to have a lot of shit done with several artists. You know, I man, I fuck a little running motherfucker. I was supposed to do something with, fuck, with him for the past fucking two, three years. Shout out, little running. Like, mm. and I just be, I always can't get back around because I, when I be moving right. the tour and I be doing so much and we be into trying to figure out the projects. Right. And then we just be doing so much it's just like I, I forget that I, I'm working right. on that too. Right. You know, right. so it would be people like little running, um, my nigga, uh, seven the great. Uh, we supposed to have did some several times. Man, time. seven, man. Uh, this is circle, man. Fuck. Me and Mr. Puga are supposed to have did some several times. But me, um, I got a song with this, so... Okay. Uh, well, Tom Tom and uh, Lil Runner. Right, shout out, you know, uh, shout out Tom Tom and Lil Runner. My niggas, yeah, straight yeah, up. Yeah. Lil Runner be hooping too, uh, you know, he coaching yeah, this shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. My nigga Finesse Kenny, they got a track with him yeah. we just did. Oh, mm -hmm. really? Uh, Hold on, I don't want to forget some, cause I, but then I was supposed to be. Oh, shout out to Uno Loso. We working on some shit. Oh no, oh no, most definitely. We finna get that in. Uh, uh, R. P. To the to the great Mo, you know. Yeah, R. P. Mo. Uh, R. P. We were supposed to do some actually. Uh, it's fucked up. I I put off the time, cause I was going to California, and Mo was like shit to hit me when you get back. And I like bit, and I just never got back with it. Right. You know, time went by, and you know what it is, what it is, for whatever. But I was supposed to do a track with him. <coughs> you know, a few other people. I don't want to keep naming because I'm gonna right. forget somebody. But well, who you always wanted to work with in the city and outside of the city? Shit. Nobody really, like. Right. I'm on my own way, right, so own way. if I want to, you know, if I fuck right. with you, then, yeah, uh, we can yeah. lock in. I mean, but I don't mind fucking with niggas, but right, 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 right. to be focused. Right, 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 nah. So, what's, what's, <laughs> so nah, for real, I, nah, I heard a lot of people say the same thing, cause a lot of people really focus right now, and a lot of people dropping shit, and I, I think, yeah. I think that's, you know, I think that's respect, you know what I'm saying, and respectable, because shit, I understand, especially in this music, like, sometimes, like, Niggas need that, like, hold on, man, I, you know, I gotta, you know what I'm saying, yeah, shit, yeah. cause this shit, man, that shit right here, nigga, you know, nigga, you know how much this video cost, even if this nigga is shooting one for 200, but shit, this nigga got this over here, right. and I'm trying to get that, I'm trying to go over here, nigga, I'm trying to fly to Cali, I'm trying to go to Atlanta, I'm trying to yeah. fly to Dada, so what's that process, like, who managing yeah. you, like, what, you just, you, you booking your own shows, you booking your, you know, your, um, your own appearances and shit like that, or what you got, or is it, like, it's a collective with y'all team, or do y'all have, Nah, I ain't go, it, it basically was off the bubble from 
when I start back booming. Like I said, when I dropped it, uh, when I dropped No More Mr. Nice Guy, mm -hmm. that, that EP had six songs on it. And that's the song, one of the songs had DSO on it. Uh, and I had Fate and Fago. And Fago, nah, that's my friend, say Fago. Fago, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All that shit hit World Star, yeah. you know, I, I had uh -huh. Star back traveling and fucking with the people that I already knew. See, a lot of people that I didn't know I knew, like yeah. certain celebrities and people, like shout out to Lil Flip, like yeah. that was funny, nigga. Book Lil Flip and said, Oh, well, I'm gonna introduce you to Flip. I said, Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. And I ain't never say that. And yeah. then when he seen me and Flip talking and laughing about the the old days about the, when we met, woo woo woo. He like, How the fuck? Why you ain't tell me you know Flip? I like, Because I ain't like that. Right, I ain't you like know that. what I'm saying? You <laughs> thought in your head that you was gonna do something for me. But well, it's a good, good I didn't want to let you down. But good looking out, though. Yeah, good looking yeah, out. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Because you know, I ain't want to, you know, sometimes right. niggas forget that they know you sometimes. Right. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So nah, real shit. If I would have bragged, like, oh, no, nah, I already know, cuz. Right. Yeah. Then I get up there, I don't know this nigga. You feel me? So I, I ain't that type of dude. Like, and, I, and that nigga flip humble. You nah, know what I'm saying? That my dude. He down. He, down, he cool as a motherfucker, goof ass. Yeah, shit. I mean, yeah, he I used just, to be down here plenty of times, nah, really? and he used to come down here and crash some Pookie Leroy birthday bashes and shit like that. Yeah, nah, for shit, so. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah. For oh me. no, but look. Oh damn, I forgot about the big dog though. You know, oh, shout out to the baby. Oh, uh, yeah. starting yeah. for Vegas. Baby. Okay, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> well, shout out the baby. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying they turned up with a nigga. Yeah. Had, oh, baby, birthday bash. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Gucci with her. That bitch was lit. Look on my page. Yeah, y'all yeah, seen you. I seen you, know you over there, Mr. Hit that oh, out. Oh, yeah, damn. Money move, we spoke about some shit. Yeah, that's what I was oh, like, damn. Yeah, I like that. I'm oh, like, oh, man. Oh, you know, I'm high, man. <laughs> man, it's all talking about local shit. Man, but I said, said outside local, the city, you, too. You know what? That's right. Like, <laughs> when he said local, I was thinking in the city. Nah, I forgot. My bad. Damn. Okay, okay. Shout out to that. Hey, but I already knew he was going to catch on, though. Yeah, man. My bad, man. Gabriel, man. Yeah. There you go, oh, run that shit. Yeah, oh, man, my nigga Mellow Ooh Wee. Uh, ooh Wee! Come on, man. Oh, Blitz, when I come back to Leather, we fight, man. You be yeah. bullshit. Uh, shit. Yeah, well, yeah, that nigga Webby, yo. Yeah. That nigga right there, that nigga done with it. That track right there, you know, Webby, that gonna be a five one right there if y'all ever get one going. Mm hmm. Nah, no, for real. So, so, so basically, it's you. Basically going around and managing yourself. Yeah, well, like I, I, I've had managers. You know, I ain't gonna fake on them. Right. Uh, they they've helped in a, in in a in a way. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna just say, oh, they ain't do shit. Right. I ain't that type of nigga. Right. But uh, I like I, I've told anybody who 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 offered to work with me, I move fast because mm -hmm. I do everything myself. I always have. I always will. So I know everything. I know more people than most people would know for us when it comes to let me holler at you right quick. Right. Yeah, you would have to run the whole spiel. Me personally, I don't have to. Right. Even if I don't know them, when they see me walking with boom, boom, bang, they everybody be staring at my jury when they see me. Oh, damn, they, they ready to talk. Right, right. So it's, it's so much easier for me to make shit happen. And I'm so used to that. So when I've had other managers that couldn't really keep up with how I was moving, I would. You know, just go back to doing it myself. So how are you protecting your music? Do you uh, who you with? Ask that BMI. No, I'm with AE. No, I'm talking about I'm talking about you. Oh yeah, I got a. Uh, yeah, ask Cap, BMI. Yeah, you got ask Cap. Mm -hmm. I told it's like uh. But they got it copyright, copy written through. The yeah, distribution through the distribution. Yeah, I read. I read. So it's just so, on the back end for me personally. I read it. Yeah, ask Cap. That ASCAP, yeah, that's why yeah. so I'm with, I'm with ASCAP. We'll be, uh, what about your pub shit? Who you with on pub shit? We do our own pub shit. Oh, you got your own pub shit? You fuck with Harry that's Fox? Good. Yeah, you want to check out Harry yeah. Fox? You want to put that I've, bitch? I've heard, I think I've. It's Harry, Harry, Fox, Harry Fox Asian, you know what I'm saying? You want to check him out, man, look him up. Me. But here we are on our podcast, we be like, we be tapping at the artists, man. We know, because a lot of artists, you know, they be jumping in the game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we'll it's, take marketing from yeah. them. But yeah, we'll take that. I walk up. I own my own pubs and go yeah, yeah. music. Kids. See, a lot of but people. Not, 
to understand the difference between the label mm -hmm. and then how the publishing rights go. Right, and right. Break down to the the copyrights, the copyrights and, and all that. Right. and all the other expenses. And, and that's, what we, that's what we be talking about. We be telling people like certain shit. You know, people we check out. You know, like Harry Fox. You know what I'm saying? We be telling people go get their publishing over there. Check it out. Cause you know it's a hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? You get that shit straight through the door, and you get them chicks. Them chicks come in. Them hoes, lovely man. I'm telling you, them, yeah, them whole lovely. You know what I'm saying? Then with that marketing from A and E too. Then with that marketing from A and E too. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, nigga, say when you love that, say you be saying home like shit. Hell, goddamn me. Like what's that? What's that nigga from Pretty Ricky and shit? And they had that big belly nigga when he had that robe on and shit. And then come out there. Oh really? You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I see your shit. Hell, man, I see it, man. I see the motivation. You know what I'm saying? That's what I respect. I see that motivation. I see that hunger. You know what I'm saying? And like I was telling uh, my other partner, you know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? When you got that determination, man. And then, and then for you to be doing it for yourself, you know, that's another big accomplishment. And we want to just say, man, that's a man like salute to that, man, because a lot of niggas don't want to even get off their ass to even do that much. You know what I'm saying? Oh, really? Like, shit, niggas, we want shit handed to them and don't understand it's a process. You know what I'm saying? It's a Major whole process. Facts. Mm -hmm. There's levels to this shit when they say that shit for real. Mm -hmm. <coughs> they, they don't make yeah. Shout out to Jayla too, you know, you know what I'm saying? She on the team too. She A and R director for the label. Okay. So, you know, she oh. rang that slash oh. management as well. So we got a team we building, you know. Shout out to Black Magic Films and all the other people that fucks with us. Everybody know who it is. If I ain't said your name, don't feel like you feel. Just know what it is. So man, where everybody can reach you, man, <laughs> man, get all your music from, man, if they want to really just tell everything me. in the world. This is what I be telling you. <laughs> Hold on. <coughs> mm -hmm. God damn it, I'm finna get on that head right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look, just like how you find everybody else in the motherfucking world music when y'all want to find these nigga music. <laughs> you can find my shit in every avenue, in any TikTok video, in any Instagram video, YouTube channel, iTunes, Spotify, Rhapsody, whatever the fuck you own, title, Wave, SoundCloud, whatever the fuck you own, all you need mm -hmm. is my name, Sire, C I apostrophe Y A R, in case it don't pull up without it. See what I'm saying? Is that easy? Man, what's some of your inspiration, man? <laughs> that easy. Man, who your inspiration, man? Oh, my kids, man. Yeah. The bastards make me want to be something in my life, but I want to be something anyway because that's <laughs> Make it sound like we some other bastards. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. But, oh, yeah, man. I just want to be. Man, my, my family, like, I ain't really just, like I said, other than the street shit, you know, it's only so much I've seen, like, my family accomplish, you know what I'm saying, to a certain level. Right. Not saying some of them ain't very successful in what they do and how they doing it. A lot of them nowadays, for sure, for sure, because it's a new day and age, so they're making a different type of life. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? But just as far as the foundation of what we never really had, I want to be able to be able to bring that back. You know what I'm saying? Right. Be able to have, like, look, this is wealth. You know what right. I'm saying? And let me add to what we trying to do to make it what we doing. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? The, yeah, the boys tapping into that credit, that crypto, all of that. Then these stocks and bonds, and land. All of that. You we know, need all you of need that. all that, because that's what's we going on right that. now. I'm talking about, I'm all saying, that. all them boys on, on the internet, I'm talking about, I'm talking about, what's that boy, uh, Banzo, Kevo, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, boy, yeah. Boy, huh? say. Oh, really? Really? Say, I'm like, but he be spending some, he be spending some jewels, though. I be like say, I be like, okay, all right, all right, I see. You know what I'm saying? He was just talking some shit the other day about how to just go get a credit card and go get these cars you want, any car you want. I was like, okay, all right, all right. No, for real. Let me let me put it to work. Shit, don't be scared, go put it to work. Shit. No, for shit, sure. So here we ask, man, you know what I'm saying? What you what you like to chill out to, man? What's that theme song? What's your theme song? Like you all right, you get in the car and you crank that bitch up, you know what I'm saying? Before you know like you, you wake up, brush the teeth, and you just like shit, that's my shit right here. What's that song, man, that they get you just like, yeah, this my thing, this my shit right here. I know it's been a long time since you had a lot of songs like that though, but it's some shit out there. I though. mean, it's it it could be a various of many. 
But if I had to think of one just right off the uh-huh. top of my head that just really represents who I am and what I really feel every day, right. it's Rick Ross, Every Day I'm Hustling. There you go, but that is every day I'm hustling. Every I'm time, bu- it's just always somewhere in the back yeah. of my head. It's just like it's <laughs> the first time I ever heard it as a, as a teenager. I was like, what the fuck? I, mean, I think that was everybody anthem right there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, yeah, man. like, ah. Even Cat Williams came after like, that motherfucker. Cat Williams, they got hustled. You feel me? Yeah, that's it right there. That's it. For real. That's it. Fuck that. Like, okay. Yeah. okay, so, man, what's your man? What's your top three rappers of all time? Yeah, we in the top threes now. Mm. I mean, we got the top threes. I mean, like I said, no disrespect to nobody who's doing their thing, period. Now, it's a personal and choice. The, I'm just saying. Because you know, know we love people, everybody. I was say, you know, people like to try to include, like, the new artists compared right. to the great niggas who just really got that shit. You know what I'm saying? No matter how old he is, you got to respect them cats. Already. You feel me? But I can't fight. You know what I'm saying? Mm. My top three niggas, oh, he say top three. Top three, it can be female. God damn, it can be male. I, I got I, shit. Well, I gotta put Wayne in there because he just done done the most. Shout out, Wayne. he just wheezy. Yeah, you can't just, dang, you can't stop that. I like the one he just did oh, with the baby. Shit, Master P, because what that nigga uh, did, he brought him, his brother, his ain't his, mm. his cousins. Nephew around the corner, baby, so everybody had a male man. He orchestrated some shit. You were like, shit, that's the nigga. Yeah, nigga. You know I mean? For like, real. And she, you just, I mean, not even because of the music, but T.I. in there, T.I. in there, T.I. Uh, in there, music wise. Okay. But see, I'm a, in my mind frame now, I'm thinking about the accomplishments right. of what came with the music, even though if they wasn't great. For this portion of it, okay, and that's why I'm finna say this. I say Birdman, okay, because okay. he is cash money. Them okay. niggas made the most. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Them niggas went crazy. That they nigga did. had Lil Wayne, Hot Boys, M- Nicki Minaj, Drake that you love today. You and LV, you feel me? What the fuck? Like, BG, he's still getting yeah. that right now. Why he said I'm too sexy for my <laughs> like, Come on, man. What the fuck? Let's still cash money. <laughs> I say, hey, hey. Only, I told a nigga, I said, only Drake can do that. I told this nigga, only Drake can do that. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I mean, you feel me? Right. Like, that's that shit. You yeah. know, and I, I fuck with Jay Z for sure. Yeah. That's why it's kind of hard for me with the three. But so I say Lil Wayne and Birdman go together. Okay. I'm going to put that like that. that okay. One. You know, the little duel, like like father, like son. Okay, all right, little duel. Yeah, Master P. You know what I'm saying, and Jay Z. That's the niggas, man. Just because you anything else just don't make sense. Like, why wouldn't you pick them niggas? I mean, shit, hell. I mean, they they up they up in there. Even fifty up there. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of them up there. Really, on the cool. You know, that's why, that's why, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we, hey, well, we know it's hard to pick, you know, a top three, you know what I'm saying? Say, but but it's like, it just like, you know, we I know. to give it that aspect right. to make it, to, right. to see mm-hmm. why, when they be like, why you picked them? This is why I look But you have, you had them ones that just stick out and really just set that bar, you know what I'm yeah, saying? So I know what you mean. Like, like, for real. Respect. Yeah, yeah. But like I say, it's a lot of niggas out here that I respect, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. They be doing their thing, And even niggas, I even like, man, like, like Devin the dude, man, that nigga right there, man. I met Devin the dude. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Had two shows together. Yeah, I fuck with that. We yeah. smoked a blunt together. Smoked a couple blunts together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he smoked a lot, man. Yeah. For real, he smoking a lot that night. But yeah, man, yeah, that dude, that boy Devin, yeah. shout out. Oh, yeah, G. I mean, like I said, yeah. he's a legend. I'm yeah. naming. Right. I was young, and you gotta think about when you young in the game. You trying to rap. You trying to catch whatever show. So whatever promoting. Mm-hmm. Hey, we got the legends. Yeah. If I can get on that show, I was on that. Because I remember I used to grow up to them niggas' music. Yeah, yeah. You know? I mean, we trying to get on that bill, boy. No, for real. Like, for real. So I, that's Man. why I love Texas, because there's a lot of legends I fuck with from Texas. Yeah, and so it would be so crazy. There's a lot of legends like to smoke on, man. White Widow. Ooh, yeah. Purple Earth. Damn, he uh, know it. And that, the original. 
cookies. Okay, the original cookies, damn sure, so right? Tastes like cookies. Now that mm -hmm. blueberry cookies, not take that. No. That blueberry, that blueberry. Mm -hmm. Like that blueberry, boy. You. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta say something like this. I ain't huh? really seen nobody have it. Like when they mixed it with the, see that white crack. Uh huh. Remember the white yeah, crack? Yeah, I remember the white crack. Yeah. I remember the white crack and the green crack. <laughs> 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 green crack. Oh, hey, green crack. This is because I remember this shit because this is what made me really start smoking. Right. I was like, man, I'm good. I just want to do my Look thing. That, that blue dreams. That's what it was. Ooh, that, oh, that's what it was, the blue dreams. Oh, okay. All right. But then, okay, then, yeah. All right. You know what I'm like, saying? Yeah. Remember the blue dreams. Yeah. The real, yeah. See, the real. See. This is before all that other shit. Thank you. Yeah, that was fun. The, the youngsters, they, they started they, doing something different. And this is because, like I said, I was young and the nigga, you know, all the nigga put me on it. Like, look, right. this what this is. The nigga, like, man, I don't even want to fuck this shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Hell no. Just taste it. Man, hit that shit. It was sweet. Shit, nigga. Ooh, why they taste like that? Good to nigga. Don't burn with me. For real, nigga. Nah, the purple one came up. Boy, that purple, Urkel. That, that granddaddy purple. Oh, that granddaddy purple. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tastes like uh, fruity pepper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. That bitch, that bug, everything with purple on that oh, motherfucker, shit. man. Oh, Frost. That was that purple. That was too much that purple. Damn, I don't know what happened to the guy. I remember the AK-47, all that shit, the game on the chain. See, the AK, I ain't like that shit. It was dry. Uh, it was dry. It, it was, was damn. Not, not, I'm talking the throwback mm -hmm. AK. I'm yeah, talking about the original. That shit was dry compared Ooh. to the other shit. I ain't like that AK. Damn. I ain't like that. I ain't like that. Uh, that shit was called... Uh, the, damn. It was right at the tip of my tongue, too, man. Uh, it's the name of it. Sound like a shit nasty. <laughs> uh, train wreck. I hated train wreck. Uh, but you hated train wreck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Everybody used to like that bullshit. It was a it purple. It did not taste right. Nah, it was yeah, a sour nah, diesel. Green. Nah, that was sour diesel. diesel. I like, yeah, that was that sour diesel. Sour diesel was my favorite. That was that sour diesel. diesel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, that's, yeah See, that's them original strains, though. Mm -hmm. you know? And that cat piss, though. That's Boy, no. we get cat piss, man. I didn't like cat piss. Oh, you didn't like cat piss? I ain't like. And that silver haze? I don't like my Yeah, they don't like that. The lemon the lemon haze tastes too lemony too. I ain't like yeah. it. Yeah. It was alright. Depending all right. on what you smoked it in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You feel me? Yeah. But I had all that shit because I was already. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about that. Now I know what it is. I'm talking about that. 500 a zip nigga around that hoe. Nigga shit. Nigga. Yeah. And hey, nigga, I ain't know y'all take that. Nigga yeah. six nigga a zip. Nigga, yeah, that shit. That was shit really nigga, like 25, that. 35 dollars a gram shit. You know? Least, that, that was $20 for show. <laughs> like, Hell no, nah, nigga. When I got out of jail, nigga, I started hearing motherfucking me $15 and $20. I'm like, what the fuck, nigga? I'm like, nigga, I started hearing that when them prices start getting low. I was like, oh, man, it's salt in the game. No, and right. nigga said, hell. Yeah, I had all them bitches. All yeah. the grandma cookies, all the animal cookies, all the... Man, all the perps, all the purple lurkles, all the... Nigga, nigga went from Reggie, Top Flight, Corn, Fire, Sin stress, fire. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? To this motherfucking Indo, outdo. You know what I'm saying? Chronic yeah. and then yeah. shit. Damn. And it was <laughs> dro, dro, dro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nigga, now hell, Kush. And then we were now we on Zaza. Nigga, now we in the world of Zaza. <laughs> look, you got that magic, nigga? You got that magic look, in it? Look, hey, man, look. Motherfucker had, I knew what it was when they said it, but when I told somebody, they were like, man, man, I want some, some of that Zaha. I said, man, Zaha the same shit I had when I was giving you the real names of the weed. I oh, like yeah. the exotic weed. Yes. That's just called it short. For exotic weed, it started calling it Zaza, and niggas thought that it was a different grade of weed. Right, why do they think that? I just okay. died. I'm like, are you serious? This niggas think this is here. different weed now? Is it, no, you call me exotic what the Zaza. fuck? Why did they do that? What they do that? I said, are you serious right now? Wow. I said, <laughs> do you know yeah, they do. Don't sound like I asked the nigga, bro. I said, I said, what you think Zaza stand for? Man, it's Zaza, nigga. Zaza, Zaza, Zaza. 
Exotic weed. So when you used to get exotic over Kush, it wasn't Zaza then? Man, nigga tell you Zaza, they up What right. the fuck? It's Zaza. I'm like, wait a minute, but the... Look. Then what I'm smoking right here, I'm like, what is that? Bro, look. Because the nigga's part of office, it's, it's some new strand or something. I was like, man, I said, man, it's in the Zaza family. <laughs> what the fuck is the Zaza man, family? Man, remember back in the day, nigga, to run up to the car, my nigga, what you need, nigga? <laughs> Oh, 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 how certain shit used to come in with depending on what part of the season mm -hmm. and how they used to move and when the drop drop. Mm -hmm. So my niggas I always give me a cup of extra when I know it's finna go down. Like, mm -hmm. oh, okay, get it. Like, oh, you better get these bitches now. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you got going on. That shit right there moving because you're trying to get the rest of that in because when that's gone, you're trying to stack up on that bullshit because it's going to be fresher than this. So you're trying to get mm -hmm. rid of what you just got because right. the hard finna come in and they ain't going to have as much. Right. You might get 200 or uh, 500, but it might be in half. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Nigga, I might be exposing the game. I'm just, but anyway, long story nah, short. Nah, I already know what shit is. You feel me? Long <laughs> story short, <laughs> boom, bam, wang. Yeah. When shit need to be switched up and things, right. Right. I know how shit go. I already know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, shit. Goddamn, nigga, with, with a monopoly it. around this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn, nigga, pass, go, collect 200, nigga. So, when nigga said that, I was like, damn, I just left Kelly. You know? <laughs> I, <laughs> that nigga, I say that nigga, well, that's when you know, boy, I see it, hell. That's the inside <laughs> one. <That> nigga, <laughs> that's the inside one right there, boy. I was like, damn. Yeah. I just left Cali, like, what the fuck? I like, my nigga had just put me on the uh, Yeah, and that right the there packs, like, ain't it. How they sell it. <laughs> and tell the nigga, and that ain't it. So, <laughs> <laughs> Basically, somebody made it cool. <laughs> hey, somebody man. made a slang for exotic, and they took it as a, they took it as a marketing thing and ran with it. I mean, they're somebody unfolded. said I need that Zaza, which basically I need some exotic. Same shit you've been asking for. Just right. give me some better weed than what we've been getting. You feel mm -hmm. me? Which has the frost on it, or the extra blue and the extra purple, mm -hmm. and the good taste. Yeah, and all yeah, the exotic yeah, weed has uh, never changed. They never changed. Right. Like, you know what what doesn't change, nigga? The only thing they may tell you is the THC is higher in this brand because they're doing more medical <laughs> shit to it. Yeah. But at the end of the day, that don't dictate the high. Mm -hmm. You can have something at 32 THC, and it's got 29, and 29 mm -hmm. might have you blasting blast 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 that 32. Because you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't never lying, boy. Shit. It's Shout out strange. to all my motherfucking weed smokers. Yeah. Nigga, stay lit, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All my weed connoisseurs, you know what I'm saying? My, oh, oh, oh. my CBD connoisseurs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For real. Shout out, for real. Man, it's like, I know this is a hard question, but it ain't a hard question because some people have their stuff together. But you know what I'm saying? And some people yeah. are always yeah. playing their life, you know what I'm saying, day by day. So, man, what you see yourself in, you know what I'm saying, and, and you know, in the next year or the next five years from now? Shit. Owning multiple mansions, homes, properties, making sure everybody around me got a property, a business that they run, their families and kids good, education good, and the structure of our life is a whole nother path when we're finna leave a legacy. Oh, I'm looking at it. Mm. Hustle music, bitch. Hustle music. Mm. You heard it? Man, I want one of them motherfuckers to me with the bowling alley, nigga. Yeah. You know, when they got that bowling alley, they hold that nigga out the V8 in that bitch. I be, I ain't gonna lie, nigga. Nah, me, me, me. Say, uh, like, I be taking my tea late and everybody, like, like sometimes, I, sometimes it be me sometimes by myself, nigga. I just roll two, three blunts and I roll out and go to uh, the biggest houses in Dallas and just be rolling. Bye, bye. And just roll all through them. You yeah, know what I'm saying? saying? Like for real, and some of them, and some yeah, and some of them, you know what I'm saying. You can't even get in them. They you know they got the gates yeah, on them. You know, the, yeah, they got the, yeah. I went to the one to see the hill that's all the way on the hill. You know what I'm saying. I went all the way up there. I was like, boy, that's a bad boy. You know what I'm saying. Put my boy out there, but you know it's a football, ex-football player still. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I knew it was somebody big mm-hmm. stay up there because he got. That's the gonna, biggest. That's the biggest one on the block. Me, like, it don't matter. I don't care. Not who don't it care is. Anyway. I don't care what mm-hmm. it is, nigga. Just give, me a piece, just give me a piece of the lawn. You so don't I know the man. I ain't gonna be the one who told you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 nah, business. Straight up. Nah. You don't know I ain't gonna be the one that told you. Man, I always ask my people this question before I get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you was in my shoes. What question would you ask yourself that I didn't ask you? Shit. That's one question. I ain't got no answer for shit. I don't know. <laughs> 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 what? I don't know that nigga. <laughs> this question right now. What? <laughs> that nigga. And then he's saying. <laughs> That's always the same. I hate the nigga you come over your house, nigga. I'm high, and nigga. Want to make me think? Nigga start tripping like a motherfucker up there, bitch. I was like, ooh. So she said two plus two equals. And then if I care to. Damn. God damn, said to me, it's that weed, nigga. It's the weed, nigga. What the fuck? I don't know. I ain't read that last night. Huh? Look at that. What? No, shit. I don't know, you did good in my book. Cause I done sat here and told you some shit. Already? Straight up. Like, it was just a conversation for me, so it was really, cool. Like, you did really, your thing. I don't really, man. That's what's up, man. Straight so, up. man, but you hear you. I, honestly, I see you happy. You know what I'm saying? And I see, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You out there doing your thing, man. I just want to say salute, man. And y'all make sure y'all tap in, man. If there's anything else you want to tell anybody out there, man, the floor is yours before we get out of here. Yeah, my bad on, I probably elaborate on some stories, but I got hired, we got the talking and shit. But, like I said, I am sorry, we got a lot of shit popping, we've been on tour all year, we done hit a whole bunch of states. If you really want to find out what we got doing, what we been doing, go look on my IG, you feel me? That's why I ain't want to go into detail about everything, I got to leave something for you to go give me some views. All right. You need them. <laughs> Tap in, we've been moving around, we got Sam with Bad Sam, we got Fat Cool. We got uh goddamn me traders and we all finna put that shit in your fucking face. So I got no more Mr. Nice got two out right now. Big boy shit at the single. Uh push for that bitch to be on all your radio stations. If you don't know it, call it in and request it. Quit hit the request line. Give me that. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> call him again. It. And call him again. Just call him. Fuck. Hmm. Go look it up on the internet, get it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, pop in, tune in. I'm, I, I, already, I already got my views and my likes in. There's come, more coming, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It ain't since today, it's different, you know what I'm saying? IG is the new, uh, what you call it, business card, you know what I'm saying? And the like and the comment is the new ching ching, you know what I'm talking about? Come yeah. on, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nigga, they don't paid. even hurt the watch, nigga. You get paid uh, just to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit, you gonna yeah, find shit, something. You gonna get that sound bag, Sam. <laughs> Sam. It shit just dropped two in my bag, too. Get that shit. Can't find it. Go to my page. Tag me and tap me in. He's somewhere on that bitch. You feel me? Is it what? Fat Cord just dropped one too. Make sure y'all go get his shit. You shout yeah, out Fat Cord, man. We got to tap in, man. They be got a fleet, man. Yeah, that's how he's he doing. You know what I'm saying? shit finna drop next month. It's going down. Hmm. That's how you advertise, yeah, how you put your people out there, campaign. you know what I'm saying? That's how you campaign, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Everybody, y'all know what to do. Tune in, you know what I'm saying? Log in, man. I appreciate all my guests coming in, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my viewers out there. You know what I'm saying? If y'all need anything, you know what I'm saying? Hair bundles, you know what I'm saying? Clothes and everything, hit that link in the description back there and hit the Shante way. Mm-hmm. Y'all need some custom glasses, you know what I'm talking about? Wine glasses, pimp oh, glasses, yes. anything like that, you know what I'm saying? Hit up Cardinal Signs 222, you know what I'm saying? And then tap in with me, you know what I'm saying? Next week, nigga, we gonna light up another motherfucking sweet nigga. Biatch! Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I always knew that I would be shit.